Prayer when in trouble. Prayer in troubled times. Father, I come into your presence along with the listener to this prayer when in trouble and release your blessings for everyone who is within the audio limits of the sound of my voice. I ask you, Lord, to forgive the sins of my listener and me so that our prayers will reach you unhindered and we will receive the answers to our prayers without any obstruction. Let us pray. O Lord, our God in heaven, you are our refuge and our strength. You are our ever-present help in troubled times. When our world is crumbling around us and we are thrown around by the storms of our lives, take away our fear. When we are weak, you be our strength. Father, you are our almighty and everlasting God who is alive and powerful. My listener and I, we come in your presence in these troubled times as we are experiencing rough and stormy waters in our lives and declare Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2 in our lives. When we walk through the waters, you will be with us. And when we pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over us. When we walk through the fire, we will not be burned. The flames will not set us ablaze. What a powerful promise, Lord. You promised your people that you will be with them through their most troubling times. You gave them strength as you read in the Bible and you will give strength to us too for your word never fails. You supported them and delivered them out of many dangers, keeping all harm away from them then. So we know that you will do the same for us when we surrender ourselves to you. For you are the same God yesterday, today and forever. Glory be to your name, Jesus. As your people were in captivity in Babylon, they faced many afflictions represented by the waters, rivers and fire. Some people rejected you and Satan separated them from you. Yet, in spite of their rebellion and disobedience, you told them not to fear because you have redeemed them, that you will continue to love and care for them and because they are your workmanship created by you to fulfill your purpose in their lives, you did not forsake them. Thank you, Lord, for letting us know that in spite of our rebellion and our disobedience, you will not forsake us and continue to love and care for us. I pray that my listener and I will return this love and faithfulness to you as your children and ask you for forgiveness for all the wrongs that we have done. Forgive us, Lord, as we repent of all our wrongdoing. We receive your forgiveness in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for your word in the Bible, which tells us how you parted the Red Sea to allow your children to walk on dry land and how you destroyed Israel's enemies in Exodus 14, 21 through 22. In Joshua 3, 14 to 17, you suddenly dried up the river Jordan. You piled up the water to make a way for your people to enter the land of milk and honey after their long, tiring journey into Canaan. This actually represents the journey of a believer from the world full of sin into heaven. Thank you, Lord. In Daniel 3, you protected Shadrach, Mesach and Abednego from the fire. Not even a hair was singed and those three men were honored and elevated in Babylon. So also you will elevate us in this world when we are committed to you. So we will not fear, Lord, as you hold our hands and lead us through these uncertain situations. You hold us in the palm of your hands. Strengthen us with the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I praise you, Lord, in the midst of these dark times, because in you and you alone, we have hope and future. You are amazing, wonderful, mighty, and loving God who is worthy of all our praises. In Jesus' name, Amen. If you are blessed by this prayer, 
then share it with others. Also, comment in agreement in the comments box and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your precious time.